Welcome to Frederick at its best. Uh, today we have an exciting uh, uh, recognition ceremony uh, to recognize a process and people who helps to name some unnamed streams and tributaries in Frederick County. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Uh, joining me this morning to explain the program is Tim Goodfellow from our uh, Community Development Division. I'm still going to call it Planning and Zoning, and I really have to change the name back to that. But I would like it if you could start off sure. by maybe telling our viewers about the contest. Sure. Thank you for hosting us this morning, Madam Executive. This um, project was a, um, a project hatched by the River Board, the Monocacy Scenic River Citizens Advisory Board, about two years ago to raise public awareness, um, public participation in a very interesting um, endeavor to name some streams in Frederick County that don't have any identifying names. We have over 1,500 miles of streams in the county, and the streams that the River Board uh, selected for naming uh, are all direct tributaries to the Monocacy River. Um, we have nice maps that show the areas that were selected, and on my left is um, Jim Dirtsball. He's the chairman of the uh, Monocacy Scenic River Board. And we had a, um, we solicited names from, we had a, um, an event to kick off the, the project and we solicited names from any, any resident, anybody could submit names. And we, we received over 35 names. Wow, that's yeah. very good participation. Yeah, well, you must have done a good job advertising. I think we did, yes. And uh, we had a judging committee and um, former Commissioner David Gray was one of the evaluators it looking and reading judge. over all the 35 submissions. Then the River Board recommended after we tallied up the uh, results, we submitted those names to the United States Geological Survey. They're the final um, um, entity that has authority over all geographic names in the country. And so um, up here today on the stage with you are the three winners of the names um, for streams in Frederick County. Okay. We also did this in Carroll County, but we're just recognizing the three, obviously, in Frederick County this morning. Okay, well, the first... Um uh, stream that was named is Plankstone Creek, uh, which does run into the Monoxy River, I believe, just kind of north of Pinecliff Park. So, um, and this was named, uh, was, was submitted by Marilyn and Jerry Veek. And um, I'd like you to, uh, if you would, uh, introduce yourselves and maybe uh, talk about how you came up with your suggested name. Okay, my name is Marilyn Veek. This is my husband. Um, my name Jerry. We live, our property kind of abuts Plankstone Creek on one corner, and so when I saw that on the map, I thought, you know, well, we ought to get involved in this. And what I did, I have I've worked with land deeds and so forth, and knew that some of the old historic land deeds sometimes talked about creeks and, and bodies of water because that was the early form of transportation in the county. So I started searching back on properties that abutted the creek and turned out that Plankstone Creek or branch had been used historically for that um, creek. And so that's why I suggested it. And, and can you tell, share uh, what the name Plankstone comes from? Oh, a Plankstone is a piece of slate that's used to pave like sidewalks and so forth. That a, has a, an official definition that way. And there does happen to be a quarry near our property that I think probably was the source of Plankstones back in the day. So I think it's an uh, interesting uh, history. Mm -hmm. And can you uh, let, share uh, where that stream is? Okay, the stream runs, it does run into the Monoxy just north of Pinecliff Park and runs almost due east across uh, Heinz Road for uh, several miles. Okay. Well, thank you for participating. I do have um, a certificate of recognition to give to you, um, which I would like to read. And uh, this certificate of net recognition is presented to Marilyn and Jerry Veek. The Monocacy Starts Here Stream Naming Project winner. Congratulations on selecting the winning name of Plankstone Creek in the Monocacy Starts Here Stream Naming Contest sponsored by the Monocacy Scenic River Citizens Advisory Board. That's certainly a mouthful. This stream and other waterways in the contest hold a unique place in the landscape in geology and biology as well as in the heritage and association with the scenic Monocacy River. Your name submission was accepted and approved by the United States Geological Survey's U.S. Board of Geographic Names for the Monocacy River Tributary. On behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I want to commend you for your 
suggestion for participating in the contest and for your contributions in our future and for helping us shape the future of Frederick County. We'll continue together to maintain our wonderful quality of life. And I'd like to present this to you and say thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll give this to you. Thank you. And uh, the next one is uh, Cookerlees Creek, and this is in the northern part of the county. Um, and it was submitted by the New Midway Elementary Eco Club. And I believe you're here to talk about that. Would you like to share a little bit about how, about what the, cl who the club's about and how you came up with the name? So the club is, um, we've done different things environmentally oriented at school at New Midway Woodsboro Elementary. We got the email and I thought well, this would be great. I asked them, they were interested at that time. They were fourth and fifth graders. Now they're in middle school, the kids are. But we got a bus after school. We found the head of the creek and we followed the creek around and we looked at it, <coughs> pardon me, and we did some historic research of the New Midway area and found out that there's a house right there across from the fire department that used to be when it was built was Cookerley's Tavern and there's a sign that says George Washington slept here. Um, so they decided to go historic and they decided to name it Cookerley's Creek. Now, how are you involved with them, and can you tell everybody who you are? I'm Mary Ann Brody Ennis. I work at New Midway Woodsboro Elementary, and I run the eco clubs up there. Okay, so are you a teacher? I'm a special ed in instructional assistant. Okay. Yeah. So is this an area of your personal interest? It too? is. Yeah, we've done things like we've planted 55 <laughs> trees at New Midway. We've planted trees down at Woodsboro. We have a rain garden up there. Yeah, I'm all about that. Very good. Well, I, I want to present the certificate of recognition to you. It's really formally presented to the New Midway Elementary Eco Club, and hopefully you can communicate this yes. to those students who have aged up and to congratulate them on selecting the winning name of Coker Lease Creek uh, in the Monocacy Starts Here Stream Naming Contest. So on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I want to thank you for all you do uh, to work with our students, to encourage them to be involved in uh, ecology and uh, the nature surrounding them and to f encourage them to participate in this contest. So with that, I will present this certificate to you and I'll say thank you. Thank you. Do you want to add anything else? Nothing else to add. Thank you. All right. And our last uh, but not least stream naming contest um, is the Old Bridges Creek, which is also in the northern uh, part of the county. And we have George uh, Jean, I'm sorry, Cartier for that. So would you like to talk about um, how you came up with this name and how you got involved in the contest? Sure. Well, first of all, I must say that the contest was just a wonderful idea. And when I, when I hear about your stories here, I just think this is just incredible that people, you know, went out and got, you know, groups of people out to do the, the research. And it's, it's, it's just really, really, really nice. Uh, we did less formal research. We did more, uh, you know, practical. Uh, my, my children and I, we went uh, down. We, our creek starts uh, just, uh, just south of the new Lynx Bridge. It begins right where the old Lynx Bridge, which was washed out in the hurricane okay. many years ago, uh, the remains of that, the piers are still there. And that's where the, this little creek comes into the river. So there's, it is you know, kind of historic in, in the sense it's connection to that old, old bridge. But we started there and we walked all the way up as far as we could go. Um, and discovered that it, that's not the only bridge across this, this little creek. There's another bridge further up uh, where they, um, there used to be, um, it used to be a, a road that um, was, uh, uh, that is now abandoned. And there's, so there's an, another former bridge across this little, it's just a little one. Nevertheless, it was kind of cool. We just had never realized that bridge was there. So it was a great uh, day for, for our, ourselves with, our, with, the, with the kids. And uh, we just think it was a brilliant idea to, to, do, this, to do this contest. Yeah. So how did you find out about the contest? I'm not sure. I think, I can't remember. We saw, the, I guess, the website. Mm -hmm. I think we were going to the website at that point of the, yeah, of the Monocacy River Board. So um, that's that's where we saw it. We thought, oh, that's fun. 
And mm -hmm. we didn't think of it as a contest. We just thought of it as a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's go down there and explore. So it was a lot of fun. And I want to thank you for that. Well, thank you, Joan, for um, participating and having your family be involved in it. We want to congratulate you on being sel selecting the winning name of Old Bridges Creek, which I guess comes from the multiple old multiple bridges, bridges that yeah. cross the creek. Um, in the Monocacy Starts Here Stream Naming Contest. So on behalf of the citizens of Frederick County, I want to commend you for your contributions, for your interest in participating, and for helping us shape the future of Frederick County. I mean, these names will stay on these streams for probably forever. We have and so, BBW crafted signs. <laughs> yes. And so we will show those here next. So I'll give you this certificate oh, and thank say you. thank you very much. Yep. And um, I do want to... Uh, offer an opportunity for everyone to say a few words before we t present the signs. So, uh, David, would you like to, former Commissioner David Gray, to talk about your role in this? You know, this is typical of Tim, and uh, he was uh, been on the Monocacy River Committee, and way back uh, when I first came in, I remember uh, Mr. Dirtsball being on there, uh, and I was on it. I was on it, and it was a, well, I think our only bi-county committee that I know of, right. but. Uh, uh, it, it did really good work here, and then I know Tim is enthusiastic about that. It took two years, <laughs> but reading and, uh, and uh, uh, looking at the photos and that sort of thing to, amongst the different people that submitted was really a kick uh, because, you know, you, part of the history was in the people's lives and part of it was researched and part of it was uh, oral research from different people. and it, it just deepens our understanding of the county, and it was a very, a very high pleasure to be a part of that, and uh, glad to finally see you guys face to face. So thank you for all the work you did on that. Thank you for serving the public in this role. It's, it's, it is really fun. And Mr. Durspaugh, would you like to say something about what the Monocacy Scenic River Board does and about this project? Sure, yeah, so thanks for the opportunity, and uh, it's a pleasure to serve. Um, I can't say enough about uh, Tim's uh, leadership and dedication to the uh, to the project throughout. I'm still a newbie here on this, but uh, it's been a, a sincere pleasure to see the uh, involvement of the community. Uh, we've, uh, as you're probably well aware, have had a number of projects where we've been cleaning up hot spots along the area. Um, last year, we probably harvested over 150 tires out of just one site wow. in a small 500 yard you know area, right? So a lot more work to be done, but uh, the outreach has been phenomenal. Uh, we're very pleased with the amount of participation we get from the community to come in and get muddy and dirty and uh, pull, you know, pull a lot of the trash out of the monoxy and make it better for everybody. So the uh, community and the citizen par participation has been phenomenal. And again, want to thank Tim for all his leadership and support in driving this uh, forward and to everybody here this award winner as well. Thank you. Well, thank you. Now, why don't we have Tim uh, talk next about the trees and the sun. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, we have trees. These are red, uh, red bud tree seedlings donated by the DNR Forest Service. They've been outside um, blooming, you know, thriving for two weeks now. They're probably kind of soaked from all the rain we've had lately. Uh, we also have some gifts that were supplied by the Alliance for the Chesapeake Bay in the blue bags over there. And our DPW um, Highway Operations, our sign shop, made signs that they, they will be installing along the road crossings of these streams. So um, thank you to them as well for um, permanently identifying these signs for, for the next forever, essentially. So, so these will be put along the closest road? That's correct. Okay. And do all of them cross a road? They do. Okay. I, I wasn't sure about um, all of them. I think, mm -hmm. I think the uh, Plankstone only crosses at, on Hines Road. I think that's the only place. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we do have a sign for each of these, and I really think this has been a great contest. I do have to figure out your secret of how you got so many people to participate in it. I would certainly like to send a thank you to uh, all the participants because I'm sure there were some other great ideas too, and we certainly uh, want people to be involved and be engaged. So every time you drive by that sign, you'll know that you played a role in permanently naming a stream in Frederick County. So I think it's a great piece of our history and it's also a great piece of your history and uh, you should make sure you document that for your own families as well. So uh, to everyone who's viewing this, uh, uh, please uh, observe the, the fact that these streams now have new names. When you drive around the county, you'll see them marked. And uh, if you know any of the people here, 
Uh, please thank them for participating in this process. I think it's been a great fun and a great achievement. So thank you for joining us.